Welcome back, fellow scrubs. This is Mark D. Wiz. We're back on Monday with Pocket Fighter EX, the game that is not at all affiliated with Capcom or SNK to uh, cover that basis. So um, we got some sprites and some other stuff to, to take care of today. So let's just get right into it and I'll show you what's been going on since last time. Alrighty. Oh, I'll just... Actually, I don't know if he's using the game is currently on or not. Because we'll find out in a second. Come on, start up. Oh! <laughs> That's right. It's now June. I should have seen it coming. Thank you so much, zombie. Tier 2. For, yeah, getting close to two years. Is it really? Is it really? Man. That's nuts. That's nuts. Alright, I'm gonna get that, the in-game music out. It's just clashing with everything. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're old now. No, I was already old. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I was already being grandpa. I think I made this change before uh, last week's, but I don't think I showed it off yet. Um, the, the state of the parry is frame one counterable. Like, so it used to have, like, a three-frame startup to it, but now it's instant. Uh, one of the things that made me reluctant to do that before was that, um... I don't know if I can... Yeah, actually, that's a perfect shot for it. Um... There. That pose, I didn't want it to get stuck on that pose when the attack intercepted you. I wanted it to be that pose. So I'm like, well, I guess the first couple frames can't can't do anything with the with that. You know, they'd have to be startup frames or whatever. So there there is a solution to that. Um, as you might know, like when uh, if you've seen some of the other streams, I might have talked about hit stop, and that's where like everything kind of stops for a second. And uh, actually, this is that's a good way to show it when there's a clash where they both freeze into position. Uh, I'm gonna try to pause it. Yeah. So when they both freeze into position like this and they hold that pose, that's called a hit stop. And that's what would show. Um, that's what would show there. So when they're both in their frozen states, and just to like show you what happened and the fact that it got parried like that, this pose right here, that's during hit stop, um, and that's what would create kind of that, you know, little view into oh shit, that's what happened in the moment. Uh, so if you did hit stop on the first frame, his arm wouldn't be up because it would have stopped the animation at the other part. So I kind of creatively and cleverly fixed this by saying that Ryu actually doesn't go into hit stop. Uh, more accurately, more specifically, he goes into one frame of hit stop when the parry happens, but then it switches to the other animation. And so I'll show you that what that animation is here. Uh, let's see. I think it's counter punch crumple those are a couple variations that we've had but um see now how it starts off with the arm up and it goes for a long time like that that's actually simulating w the animation hit stop yeah doll eyes <laughs> yeah i like that one that's a good theme for cami um so this long pause here is actually simulating the hit stop so Ryu goes back to this animation and it continues to play even though it looks like he's in hit stop, but he's not really. And then Ken is actually in hit stop because his animation stops. Um, that way I can transition the first 
frame from here, these first couple frames. I can just transition that into playing uh, this animation, and it looks like his arm is extended as a part of the animation. So that, hopefully that made sense, the explanation, but that's how I fixed that whole thing. And so now the parry is frame one. So it cannot be stopped. Alright, hold on. Uh, there. So you can cancel it right from there completely into it without problem. Come on. So it works both ways. There's no vulnerability period anymore at all. And I think it works way better that way. Because I've gotten some on reaction that are like, yeah, that would not have occurred if there was that start up there. Um, you can still whiff it though. <laughs> Don't whiff it. You'll just get hit like that. And now I got the HUD thing down here, as you might have seen in a previous stream. So I know I still have it, even though I failed to to do it. I must have done it after I got hit. But now I know. Before, I didn't have any idea whether I still had it or not, unless I tried to use it. I think it works better. It feels more solid, more reliable now. So, that's one thing I think I didn't, um, I didn't show off last time. So... Uh, let's see, what's the other change? Oh, yes! Um, I haven't shown this one yet, I know. I talked about it in Discord. Um, so the Hadouken now does different amounts of hit stun, depending on how far away it is. So if you're point blank, it does more. It still has the same advantage on hit or block, so you can still be punished just the same. But the, uh, so the, the farther away one has less hit stun, and the closer one has more. And so why did I make that change? Uh, one, to make combos here a little more visible and consistent. But the other reason is the follow-up options. So if you do this, you can follow up with that. You, you have time for that. Oh, but if you do this... Oh, come on. You don't have time to follow up with the big attack. So one of the things that I've noticed is that there's... Once you realize that you can get this after a Hadouken, there's no combo variation off of Max Cancel. It's You're always going to want to just do this and go in with it, but now you can't do that. Um, and I think it, it both promotes combo creativity, and it's kind of cool that, you know, you get that nuance of something closer you can get the bigger the bigger prize but if you go farther you're not gonna get it makes the timing a little tricky uh, this one is doable but only if you time it right it's really hard I, I, I have a feeling it's a one or two frame like there's, there's no buffer involved here uh, with when you cancel and, you know, getting your run in correctly. You just have to get it. No, I keep doing it wrong. I, I can't, I'm not capable of getting it. I get it like 1 in 50 times or something like that. And not 50, probably, probably more like 1 in 25. Um, but I have, yep, there it is. You can successfully do it. I have done it. So, there's that. Oh, you can do... can do loops on this. So if you start it with that, like if they're dizzy and you just want to go for the biggest thing possible, you can do that. So that's still doable. 
It's just the, the far away Hadoken. You're not going to be able to get it. Both for reasons of knockback and the decreased hit stun. Um, but you can still you can still get other stuff. So it's not like you can't. Um... Damn it! I keep doing the solar plexus by mistake. So you still have other options. Far HP will reach. Far heavy punch. Um, you can. Keep moving it too early. Oh, I did it wrong. You can do that. So you can go up and, and do a crouching HP. So you still have a lot of options to do stuff. You just... It's just not every... Now every um, one doesn't just lead into solar plexus. Because before that's how it was. And it also prevents... Um, jump-ins from being... Because you can cancel... The other thing is you can cancel quicker than you could before with this. But this also prevents jump-ins. So if you're close enough to get the extra hit stun, you're not going to be able to do anything anyway. Because um, the ideal situation for jumping would to be kind of like... Uh, get like... Right here. To get there, and then like delay the cancel. Or delay the hit of the Hadouk until after the cancel, and and then that would give you enough time to jump in. So that that's also been fixed. Um, before I split the the max activation and the super cancel window was actually different. So the max activation actually happened after, and that was causing problems on people wanting to do a max activation but accidentally uh, doing like that. If they did that and hit both the buttons with a, with a double down for it, it would give them a super instead. Even if they meant to do max. So um, that fixed that glitch, if you want to call it a glitch. Or design oversight. At the time, it was the best solution I had to uh, prevent jump-ins. Because it would delay the max cancel for a little bit longer. But, um, and then the super window would be before it because you wanted to, you wanted that to basically be what you get, just like Third Strike did pretty much the same thing. So, let's see, what else do I have? Yeah, I was gonna say, I can't, I don't think you can. No, that should. Wow, really? <laughs> Oh man, that works. That's funny. Well, huh. you probably can't get it on a jump in though. You can't get that. So. No, it's too much pushback. Well, if you want to do a point blank Hadoken, which is almost suicide, <laughs> both startup and recovery, uh, then you then you can you can. <laughs> You can cancel it into Shinsho, how about that? I'll give you that. That's fine. But I, I highly doubt you're gonna be able to... You're gonna be able to do it anywhere else. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe on a jump in from the corner. No. It's still gonna push you back because of the crouching HP. Um, let's see. I'm trying to not... Do the H crouching HP. Oh, it's getting quicker. Oh shit! That's not what I want. Right, hold on. Get rid of the max. No, I'm so used to to getting the the crouching HP in there because that would be the optimal thing to do. Uh, hold on. All right. Nope, and don't work. Just enough to push you out. So. Come on. Oh. 
There. You can do that. Uh, anyway, so the the point is is that the Hado can cancel. You get better options point blank. So it rewards you know that kind of stuff. But if you're, you know, max distance or uh Damn it! I keep pressing. You have to hold down back for for this. Uh, but if it's straight down or down forward, then then you get this one. So I you think I'd learn the timing by now, but I haven't. So if you want to like get that max range, you're gonna have to do something else. You're not gonna get the most powerful starter. It's only a short range thing. So, I think it makes sense. And I'm going to apply this philosophy, of course, to Ken and Terry and, and anyone else with a projectile. So, they, if they get that. Whoa! Frame drop. <laughs> so, if they get, you know, close one, they get a bigger reward out of that. And so, that will come into play with Terry um, because he's got some combos that do rely on that. So that, his is going to be really interesting to make sure that it doesn't break or that there's no unintended consequence to it because um, like he's got stuff like this that he needs to be able to do. So you see things like that, follow-ups like that. Oh, uh, Power Max got a new... the effect looks different on the character and I don't know if you noticed more of a flicker instead of like a wavy thing and it's a little more intense of a color change so that it's easier to see on all colors whether or not you have it uh, on and armor mode's the same way so it's a bit more of a flicker you should be able to see it okay since I got the stream set to 60 I like that clash effect. I want to change the effect on it though. Come on, get it. Uh, it might be easier to do this. Nope, it's gonna knock them out. There it is. There. The flash helps now that we've got the counter flashes in. Uh, and they help with the counters too, especially highlighting the uh, the extra hit spark effect there, where it's got the little white flash around it. I think the it was a little hard to tell that it happened before, but now when the flash hits, it focuses your eyes on the white that remains, and it, it just all works. It all flows together. I really like it. Um, oh, I did find another. I was actually reviewing some footage of SVC Chaos. Just to kind of see how people played, and I did find uh, some carry players like to. Oh. No, that's not. Hold on. They like to use basically a cross up on the kick, and then they can use the crouching jab, and then this, and then go into burn knuckle. So I tried it to see if it worked, and it does does decent if I can get it. I'm not used to doing something like that. Oh, come on. Now, this isn't a target combo like it is in KOF. You actually have to link it, and that's the part where I'm flailing here. You gotta do that, but after a cross-up. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, oh. Well, there's a the crack shoot version. I guess <laughs> you could do that. But uh, Burn Knuckle, of course, is going to do more damage. Uh, oh, did it wrong. Holding the wrong direction. Nope, screwing it up. I just thought it was a neat combo. And if anybody was... Well, you can do that. Um, there it is. Decent damage, neat combo. I just thought it was interesting, so I figured I'd share it. It was something I found players doing in SVC Chaos. So, and I didn't have to change anything to make it work. It just automatically was there, but just thought it was a neat little combo to share. 
Um, all right, so let's switch back to Ryu. Nah, I'm making blue, whatever. So yeah, the the this timing window being the same as the super really helps because there's no there's no change here. Uh, there's no missed inputs. If you accidentally do a double down forward and you do the max, you're gonna get the max. You're not gonna get the Shinko Doken. Or before that, you would 100% get the Shinko Doken because it would look for that first a couple frames before it looked for the max activation. So there is that. Uh, I think that's all for reuse changes. I actually did experiment a couple things with Ken gameplay wise, which I thought was. Uh, and I might replicate this to other cast members as well. And this one is really hard, so you'll have to forgive me if it takes me a while to exemplify this. So I was experimenting with. Um, at this point, I think that overheads are a little, um, not useless, but they're not very rewarding. Especially in a game where you can, you know, get around pretty easy. You know, the mix-up game with standing overheads and stuff, not all that rewarding. It's like, okay, well, I put them in check, that's fine, cool, alright, whatever. Uh, especially since Ken kind of focuses on it to a degree, you know, with his Gary kicks. Um, so what I did is I allow this now. You have just enough time, one frame, to get a kick in. Uh, obviously the input buffer gives you two extra frames, so it's a three frame button press, but it, in game it's linked with, you know, one frame of animation. So what can you do that's interesting? Um, you can, you can do that out of it. So you can, you can do stuff like that. You can get a little bit. Uh, and I, I've yet to tweak it, so I haven't showed it off yet. Because I'm going to get to it when uh, when Ken's changes come into play. But um, you cannot... Uh, you know, actually, let me stop and wake up. Uh, you cannot get the Hadoken right now. I don't know if I want to allow it or not. It seems innocuous enough, so I might... But the, um, let's see, damn. Oh, you can, you can get a Shoryuken, I don't know about that. But I have to reanimate the Shoryukens anyway. Like, Ryu's got completely adjusted, so Ken's are gonna get reanimated too. Uh, I don't know, so I don't know if that will still work or not. But that's an easy one, because you could just mash it out. You can just buffer it right in, and it just goes, so, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it seems a little cheap to to be able to do that, but Shoryukens are three frames, so yeah, I don't know. I've been considering for a while making them maybe four frame instead, but I don't know how I feel about that change. I like them being fast. And they'll retain the same amount of invulnerability, but... I don't know. Anyway, so, um... If I can get it here... Yeah? Okay. There, you can see that I can use it to, if I've got good timing, I can use it to confirm into a max cancel. Which I don't really have good timing, so for me it's unreliable, but I'm pretty sure uh, a good player is going to be able to do something with that. So if they get the overhead, they oh, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're going to town, you, we got you. Um, now it does... It does leave the room open for supers and stuff, which I'm not sure... I mean, sure, you can just do this. <laughs> you can confirm your overhead that way. But it is programmed to scale harder if you confirm an overhead with a ca max cancel. So, um, and actually, I, I changed a couple things, so it's not even doing it as much as it used to, and I might have to crank it back. But, obviously, you know, 
you can get more damage by doing this, but um, supers are generally five frame startup, so you can't do that, but you can do this. And it does, does quite a considerable amount of damage, so I do have to up the scale back on that. Um, I was experimenting, the reason the scale is, is lower now is because I was experimenting making supers not scale uh, two levels instead of one. I'm trying to get things balanced on the damage scaling, but I think I'm just going to redo the scaling metric. For the most part, I'm I'm using Street Fighter 4's scaling method, but I don't use per hit, I use per attack. So it, it, it doesn't work as, it doesn't operate the same way that I would expect it to. It's, it's not giving me the results I want, I guess is the best way to put it. So um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm tweaking there. So the damage here is not representative right now. That's going to be heavily tweaked very soon. Um, so this, you know, this might not be as crazy. Yeah, it's tough. Because you have to do a neutral one of these. If you hold forward, you're going to get another one of these. You can hold back and do it, but if you're a frame late, <laughs> then you're just going to walk back and then miss the window. Uh, but then you've got to do this and then a half circle forward would kick to get this, so it's, it's a little tricky. The timing's strict enough that it gives me a lot of trouble, but like I said, a, a good player is not going to have too much of a problem with that. If they get used to it, they'll be able to use it. So that that's the uh, that's the idea there. Yeah, you should be able to should be able to get this. Tough. Man. <laughs> you can't I can't hold down to get the down forward back for the Tatsu because this doesn't hit. It's too far. Got to use that far one, and I made sure that that was the only one that you could do, so you couldn't you couldn't wink a, a standing jab, because that just opens up the opportunity for way too much stuff. So I think this is a fair compromise for now. I don't know how I feel about it in totality. So like I said, it could it could change, but I kind of feel that overheads were a little too underpowered. I do also feel the same way with, um, oh, that's not what I want, with, uh, anti-airs. They just don't, I don't know, the damage for jumping in is all, not that much compared to, you know, getting blown up like this. And sure, some people have supers to take care of that, but meterless ones seem like, I don't know, they'd be a little better. Because you can't do that. You know, that doesn't cause a juggle. Stand HP. Which it probably shouldn't. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think you can even... Oh, hold on. Yeah, you can't get it with an EX either. Because it has. you have to have already juggled them to get them with an EX like that. So yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about potential things to do for for anti airs, unless I'm just like you know, ex is the way to go, or I don't know. Even that didn't do that much damage. Did okay, but that's not an anti air. You need two bars for this. It's okay. Sure, if you got three bar, whatever. I mean, you, you got lots of options then, but. I don't know. It's hard to say, you know, what exactly I should do there. But if normals all of a sudden cause juggle states, so then you'll have, you know, situations where you could just do this and then level three and goodbye. You know, I confirmed my level three super by just hitting you in the air and air to air. You know what I mean? Like I don't want that either, and that was part of the reason that I did. Um, that I did it like that. Um, so 
so you can't hit you can't just hit them once and then get like a super off of it that block it. They'll be able to land without getting hit. Now, obviously, he's, he's not blocking the second round because he's told to jump, and there's a little gap there, and he gets hit with jump. But, um, it's, it's probably a better example. Yeah, so he didn't get hit till he jumped. But that's the basic idea that you just can't air to air confirm, oh yeah, level three, goodbye. <laughs> I got you, you know, no. If, it, it was like that at first, and it, it didn't. It didn't bode well in playtesting. So, and as a consequence, that can't do it either. I mean, maybe I could program it to do it, but it seems strange, and there's not really much you can follow up with. It's like, like, what do you do? Like, did you do that? Would that defeat the purpose of having the Shoryuken as your anti-air? I don't know, maybe the Shoryuken should do more damage? Less? Or... I don't know. I'm not really sure what the answer is on that. Add juggle if it's a counter hit, but if they did an em empty jump, and you hit them before they had uh, thrown something out, like they were waiting on it, like they were trying to get in deeper, then you wouldn't get it. So that might feel a little inconsistent, be like, oh, well I get it sometimes, but I don't other times. It's a good thought, though. I just kind of feel like it would have to be an all-or-nothing thing. Like, in Street Fighter V, Ken's crouching HP is his crush counter, and that does enable, uh, you know, a, an air juggle. But we don't have crush counters, per se. So that's also not necessarily a thing. I mean, I can I could make it do it real quick, just to see what it's like. It should be able to, let's see. Uh, bring this up a little bit. Yeah, Rio jumping there, he's making me dizzy just looking at him. Stop it. <laughs> uh, let's see, crouching... Heavy punch. I should be able to make it juggle a hole. Uh, where is it here? Air juggle properties, set opponent into juggle. Oh, it's copied from the one, so there. So this technically should work. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's too fast. Uh, oh, he landed. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, you could do that, I guess. <laughs> or... No, that doesn't hit. Juggle. That's funny. Mmm... I don't know, it just doesn't seem all that useful. Even when you do have it? You could do that at farther ranges, I guess. Like, is it worth having it? I don't know, that's a question. I kind of feel like that should, that should pick up. Um... Uh, but it doesn't. Let's see, we'll put on the light first. Yeah, it does not set juggle on any of them. So. And they can't juggle either. Let's say that it can juggle. And then you get that? I don't know. Is that useful? Oh, the back hits don't juggle. Maybe the back hits. Say the back hits can juggle. So in the get over here. Yeah, so you can get that then. I don't know. I don't know. Is it that like it's it's not as much as a sure you can though. So like, does it matter? Do you want to do a sure you can with it? Does it, it looks a little weird? I'll be honest. You'd have to time it really good. I mean, I don't know. 
Do you see what I mean, though? It's, it's just kind of like, do you really need it? I don't know. It is, I'll be honest, though, so it's a neat little side switcher, at the very least. If you're close enough, let's say. If you hit, it, if you hit him high enough, it looks like he side switched, yeah. But I guess you wouldn't really get that if they're doing just a jump in, only if they're doing a, a neutral jump. Although, although, um, yeah, get in the corner. Say I'm in the corner, and he does a neutral jump trying to, trying to jump up, you know, say I'm on the wake up, he tries to jump up and do something. Um, oh, I messed it up. Alright. Oh, he's jumping. There we go. Nah, it's still not quick enough to be side switch. At least not. Mm, that would light though. Let's try with heavy. Let's try with heavy here. Uh, I did reanimate Ryu's toxins to be a little faster, so I probably will do the same to Ken as well. So it probably would be easier to hit behind. Um, but let's just say that these can juggle too. That's the back hit. This is the front hit. So this is for the heavy. Uh, okay, so now we got that. Get rid of it. There. Hey! It's Joe Lambo's follow-up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe Lambo. It's Joe Lambo. Nah. nah, they're too slow to do it in the corner, but they're probably gonna get a lot faster. Because Ryu's got completely changed. Ken hasn't had any of the adjustments that Ryu has. And Ryu's feeling real solid right now, so I'm pretty sure Ken's gonna get some more stuff. Uh, so Ken's a little janky. He's got different hitboxes than Ryu does. Like, the sizes and stuff are a little different. You notice they're, like, really thin there. But the standing one, the standing one is shared by everybody. So that's the same, but you notice like when he goes to jab, it gets really small. That's why you get weird stuff like this, where like Ken remains in the corner when he's not supposed to. There's a lot of hitbox, hitbox changes I made that only Ryu got uh, that Ken will also need to receive. And until then, he's going to be a little janky, but you know, that's the idea. So I don't know. Does it, does it do anything? Maybe? It's hard to say. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like, KOF's just like, screw it. Anything that anything that will connect in the air hits in the air. And Capcom's kind of like, no, only very specific things will hit in the air or, or be able to follow up and stuff. Otherwise, you get some weird stuff. Uh, but then KOF has more movement options and faster pace and stuff to, to accommodate being that crazy, where this is sort of a middle ground in between the two. It's not quite... Not quite as, as slow and reserved as Street Fighter, but not quite as crazy as KOF. So there is that to consider. So I'm not really sure. I'll put a, a lot more thought into it. Uh, let's see. The other thing I was going to show... Oh yeah, that fact that um, the, uh, the Power Max ones do have this one though too if you can get it there yeah you can do that with the power max one so um you can actually i doubt i'll be able to get it oh yeah okay i did do it so you can actually whoop those with the max and then um i think i think you can Maybe with better timing. Or maybe maybe you can only do it... Maybe you can only do it like this. And then... Yeah. It was one of these. Where I, I did this and then this again. And it was kind of cool. So you can get a little bit of a loop going on. But I think, I think you have to start off with just the normal. It's tough though. Come <laughs> on. 
Missed the cancel. Nope, that's the window. Ugh. It's tough. For me, it's tough. Probably not tough for you guys. Oh, no. Power. Power. If I try negative edging it, it'd be a little easier to, to do. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, come on. Man. I don't know. Well, trust me, you can you can do this into this and then another one. <laughs> I tried it before the stream it worked. But it, it's hard. It's it's hard to get in general. So that's why I think it's okay. Oh yeah, there you go. I just had to do it from the other side, right? So the right side's my magic side. Of course I can't do it again. But you saw it. Yeah. Like that, but but actually connecting it. So you can do a little bit, a little bit of looping, but it pushes them back enough that you can't just continue it forever. So I thought it was a nifty little change. Um, I'm willing to see where it goes, I'm not decided on it. But I do feel like overheads need something new. I think they need something a little extra, other than just being able to oh duh, you can max cancel it. Well, good job. You know, that's the instant confirm. Or automatic, I guess. I mean, that's is what it is, but I feel like you should be able to do something with overheads without having to resort to max mode. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it does, uh, it does give the potential to to get into a super or whatever, but I don't know. Did you earn it? Maybe? Come on. Man, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Of course he blocked it when I did it right. I don't know. And then you can, once you hit this, you know, you can max cancel and do something like that. Or just, uh, if you got level 3, you could probably just go straight into that. So, yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. I don't know, is that, is that a, too much for, for getting an overhead? I don't know, it's arguable. I don't want it to be... Yeah, there we go, just like that. How much damage, what, what do we get? Okay, you almost get half. You did use three bars and a max, so maybe? I don't know. You can't get the second hit of the target combo at that range, it just won't hit. It will just miss, and that's intentional. You're supposed to be closer for that kind of thing, because that'll give you the special cancel. Um, you can, you can do that though. I think that will hit. Get it. No. <laughs> it's tough. But yeah, if you do if you do max range on this, you can see that it will hit. So there is that. And then you can cancel that, of course. And do something else. There, that's what I want. You could do that. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. How did I get in the game making? A long time ago, there was... Well, they actually, they still have this program. It's called Fusion now. But back in the day, it was called Multimedia Fusion. And I had actually purchased that because I, I saw, oh, you can make games with it. I'm going to tinker around with it. I'm going to screw around with it. It was, it was 150 bucks, a little expensive. But, you know, it was a pre-programmed engine, whatever. Like, they, they still have it. Um, see if I can bring it up. 
and it, it wasn't like traditional programming. I don't know if it still goes. I know it goes by Fusion now. So there's Multimedia Fusion 2. It's by the Quick Team. Well, this will get to us to their site at least. Um, and they, man, they've made stuff all the way back. Like the Games Factory. Like the Games Factory 1 was one of the first thing they made, and they also made a thing click and create. But each one was like a new upgraded version of it. They kept changing the name for some whatever reason. Um, but Multimedia Fusion was originally, like, it was. There was no real programming programming. Like, you didn't have to type the program, but you would, like, pick, you know, when this object meets this object, then you're going to tell it to do one of these actions, kind of thing. And it was just a nice little introductory thing to, to do. Now they've made it. Uh, bigger and better. It's more, it, you know, it does 2D stuff primarily. You, you just some plugins here and there. But that's what I got started on. Um, would I recommend that to start on now? I'm not not confident in that. But, um, I am in to start now. Man, what would I do? <laughs> that's a good question. Maybe try modding some games first instead of making them from scratch. But anyway, I tried to make a Mega Man fan game in, in one of those, and I got decently far, but at some point I realized that Multimedia Fusion probably wasn't the right thing to do that complex of a game in. And then so I had programmed other stuff in C++ using like DirectX and that kind of stuff. And I got pretty decently far with that, but it's, it's a lot of work to just make your own engine from scratch. And... Uh, then we made a mobile game called Hamster Drop. So I assembled a crew and we made a mobile game. And we did that in C++. And Oh, and I worked at Activision for a little bit. That was a terrible experience. I would not recommend it. Um, that Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was after... I started making my own engines a little bit. And then I went to Activision and that was terrible. So... Um, then I didn't do that anymore, and then I was doing more stuff with my own engines, and then we assembled the team and made a mobile game, and then there you go, so there's my history. <laughs> and then, uh, that didn't pay the bills. Spoiler alert. So, um, I'm making a fan game again. <laughs> Does like, passion project kind of thing. Um, fighting games are complex enough where I didn't have the confidence to start doing it until recently so as to why didn't I start with this a long time ago that would be the the answer to that so hopefully that um, hopefully that answers the question satisfactorily Activision Blizzard or the old Activision at <laughs> during my tenure there and I want to say tenure some people use tenure as a synonym for how long you've been there the duration you've been there but it, tenure means really something else so not tenure, but during my my active employment, um, the merger took place right in the middle of it. So they actually they actually did the merger into Activision Blizzard while I was there. So it was um, the Wii port of Guitar Hero 4, which I think they ended up calling World Tour. That's that's what I was working on. That was uh, the project that I was in. And so that gives you that gives you an exact date and time time frame for it. But that was I'm pretty sure it was right around um, somewhere in the middle there is when they did the merger. I'm pretty sure it was around the time that Bobby Kodak came out and publicly stated he's the CEO of Activision. Uh, Kodak? Kodak, maybe it's Bobby Kodak. He came out and made the the public statement of games that are too much fun to create. And we have to change that. <laughs> and at that point, I knew I was in the wrong place. And so, yeah, that was oh, that was the end of that. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> that gives you any context as to about what time it was when I was there. So that was that was an interesting experience. Uh, then I went to work in IT, and. Um, the field of IT was was quite interesting. I got to do a lot of a lot of different things. I got to uh, work at a police station, uh, do 
government work, that kind of stuff. And then I went to try to make a mobile game that didn't do too well. And then I went back to IT. And so that was kind of. Then I went moved from New York to Kentucky. And that's where I am now, in Kentucky. <laughs> so it's, it's a little bit of a long history. I've been been all over. But I, I, look, making games is really what I, I want to do though. I, I've, I've come to realize that once I've once I actually went out there and did the mobile game, I'm like, nah, this is what I want. Um, I got forced back into the into the IT stuff, you know, to recover, but it's definitely not what I wanted to do. So so I'm making a fan game to satisfy those urges at the moment. If you want to put it that way. So obviously there's no way I can make money or a career off of this, but it's just something I've always wanted to do. So that's how it goes. But I'm trying to bring my professional development experience into that to make it actually really worth something playing. You probably won't be able to do that eventually. Do this. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe. Yeah, where well, you can jump, you can run up and stand fierce. But um, man, that's that's kind of the, the the best combo you can get off of that, though. I'm trying to make a little more combo diversity, so you can't just max cancel out of anything and then automatically get into the best combo after it. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. I want to make Ken different than Ryu anyway. Um, I think that goes over all the changes I've been monkeying with. Which is actually taking half of our time, but that's fine. I think it was interesting enough to, to go over and to discuss about. Oh yeah, and then we did make this change, but I don't know if I like it or not. I like it as a potential, like, get out of the corner option. Like, it is kind of cool to be able to potentially reverse on the other character and be like, oh, now you're in the corner instead of, you know, only being able to grab or whatever. Of course, it doesn't. I have to adjust the move itself, but Reuse does, goes a lot farther now than it used to, a lot farther faster. Um, and that was intentional, an intentional change because, like, Ken's is just too damn slow. Like, there's not much you can do off of it, but we we'll see how fast, or how far Ryu's Light Tatsu goes way farther than Ken's. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just don't know, like, what else, what else it's good for. Like, I don't know. We'll put it on Ryu to test him as well. Uh, where, where is Crouching, Heavy Punch, uh, we'll try it just to see what it looks like for him, but, so Air, set, Chug, oh, oh, take off copy, yeah, his is a little different, um, oh, I do, does a Tatsu, behind Tatsu, hold on, does the behind Tatsu juggle or not? Or is it just not hitting it? It can juggle, so it's just not hitting it. You might not be able to get it with Ryu, it's just not built that way. Uh, you have to get it really high. Man, that doesn't even... <laughs> that, whoa, that one carries him with him. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, I gotta fix that. That is not, that is not right. Um, they're all copied from there, okay. Uh, get force direction backwards. Forward, maybe? No? Huh, that's weird. It doesn't seem to care. That's strange. 
That might be a glitch. Hmm. That's funny. It just drags him with him. Get over here. <laughs> that might be. Yeah, that might be a. That might be a glitch. Because this hit force direction back and forward is supposed to dictate that. Maybe because it's hitting behind him that it's the problem? I don't know. I'm going to have to investigate that. I'm not really sure what, what that's about. Uh, let's see, because if we make... Make him guard everything. See, he's getting pushed back that way. But if I... If I change that... Maybe I broke this completely, I don't know. Let's see. If I change it to backwards, it should reel him in. Yeah, like it, it pulls him in instead. Thank. Now he's still getting pushed back though, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like he's still getting pushed back. Alright, hold on. Let's let's do a simple test. Well thank you. That's all I can ask for. People people have fun with it. I bet it broke in the forward backward thing. I'll investigate that in a minute. But what, let's do a test just to confirm. Let's do a standing standing light punch. So if I tell it backward, it should pull Ken in instead of forward. And it doesn't. It pushes him back. So there's a glitch there. Yeah. Hit force direction. Alright, let's take a look. Cannot find direction. Oh, you know why? Hold on. I know why. I know why. It's not in this file. It is in this file. No, this file. And it's not in here either. It's got to be in here. Come on, it's got to be in here. Here it is. It forced direction. Did I spot it wrong? Oh, I did. I did match whole word. That's why. Yeah. Now it finds it, of course. All right. Um. All right. So let's see where this is. That's a collision event. Okay. This is where I would expect it to go wrong. But that looks okay. What is this? Where are you? Where? Fighter controller. Attack was blocked. I don't think. Hmm. This might be what's reversing it here. I think I. I think because it's already calculated. We don't need to recalculate it. That could be it. Well, let's take a look. Where is this being used? Oh man. Hmm. We don't need to do that anymore, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's different. I don't... We do need it there. But do we need it here? Huh. We actually might need it there. Okay, so those must be okay. It's, uh... Let's see, so it's already in the collision data. And that's gonna get sent over fine. Uh, Alright, let's check this again. So where is this gonna go? Copy from. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, here, let's, let's do it this way. Hmm. 
Okay, that's still the same two instances. Alright, we're gonna have to look at conclusion data event here. Conclusion event data. Okay, so where's all references for this? That's it. It doesn't get used? How come it doesn't get used? No one uses it? Hmm. Well, that could be part of the problem. Alright, let's go back, 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 back. Back, back, back. Nope, too far. Yeah, alright, hold on. Let's... What file are we in? We're in that one. Okay. So here... What is this coming from? That's what I want to know. Okay, that's just a vector 3. Generate half force direction. Hmm, okay, that's fine. There is, let's see, just a couple others. Oh, oh that's all I want. Uh, unland hit force direction, where is this? Okay, no, I don't need to worry about that one. That's not the one in question. Okay, hit force direction is already a vector 3 here. And. Oh, no, that does get used. Yeah, it's already. Yeah, it's getting calculated already there. Well, uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to fix this. It's a little, it's a little spaghetti code with the way that I did it. I don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it, and I don't know if that's. I should bother going through and cleaning all of it right now, because what I could do is get hit force. No? What's that? What's that? You hit direction? Let's see. Generate hit for search. That's it. Uh, CE dot hit box incoming hit. Alright, that should clear up that part at least. So then take attack goes here, and force direction gets passed to here, where it was subsequently not used by anything. Hmm. Yeah, so down here we should be using the head force direction. Who else calls this here? Alright, that's a return hit push. That uses hit force direction, and that also uses hit force direction. It should be okay? It should. Huh. Alright, let's do one more trace, just to make sure we've got all avenues secured here. Like, this is calculated here, but it doesn't have to now. Because this does it too. So that's what I'm saying, one of these is redundant, I don't have to remove them, but... Right now, I don't know, let's see if this helps.
Okay, so standing light punch is set to hit forward, and it goes backwards. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I really jimmied it now. Oh no, it's just going backwards completely. It doesn't care anymore. That's great. Everything's going backwards. That's great. It's the vortex. <laughs> oh, except, except this. The EX Tatsu sends him flying. Okay, how does that make any sense? <laughs> That's what I expected to happen now. Is that it, it would suck them in. How does that make any sense now? New tech. Yeah, really. Oh man, that's so funny. Oh, it's all it's all it's all messed up now. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> that barely works. That's great. God, how jimmied up is this now? Oh, that didn't even work. Hold on. Whoa! It just doesn't work now? What? <laughs> Or maybe I'm doing maybe I'm doing too too early. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they don't go anywhere though. They just get stuck to you. Okay. Well, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Huh. That's the right emoji. Huh. How does how does that? Hmm. Okay. Generate hit force direction. Yeah, no, this looks okay. It, yeah, forward should be right, and backward should be negative, I guess. Or is, it, is there a dot left? No, no, no. Uh -oh. Huh. Man, I don't... Hmm. I don't... I don't know now. Apply attack hit, and that should have it. All right, where's all these? That's attack on land. That's fine. Um, hmm. Hello, K K Nitty K Nitty. Is that right? K Nitty. Hit force. Let's see. So it's coming in. It's coming in through the collision system. And it tries to generate it here. But that doesn't help. But the hit force direction is not. Let's see. Let's see the hit force direction. Let's put it back. Let's put it back at least. Oh. Oh, my screen dimmer's on. Sorry about that. It's about to get a little bright. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that wonderful blue. Hey! It's a Kiwi. It's a Kiwi? It's Ki Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say. You're in the chat there. I recognize the name. Thank you. Okay, that, that fixed that. <laughs> but actually, I'm really curious as to what is coming in here. So let's hit the debugger up. Hit force direction is one. I, I guess that's what I expected. Uh, let's see. Let's um, yeah, keep him from keep him from guarding and oh, it's not. Oh, I turned off the trigger for it. Okay, and that's one. Let's. Yeah, let me take off the maximize here. 
so standing light punch. Let's see. Standing light kick. Standing light punch is forward. We'll make it backwards and see. Oh! Well, now it's just mysteriously working. Okay. Huh. And then forwards works? I don't I don't know what I fixed, but apparently I fixed it, I guess. <laughs> what did I clean up? Oh I did I did prevent it from No, I did prevent it from calculating ahead of time, because then this wouldn't be anything. I, I guess it's normal. I guess it's okay now. Back. And should be negative one, yeah. Okay. Alright, whatever. It fixed I, I guess. So then let's go back to the Tatsu now. So the forward hit should be forward. And I think the back hit should be back, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see. It works now. Okay. Yeah, it's working. It's working good now. I, yeah, I'm not really sure what was broke, but we fixed it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like everything's good there. Yeah, so you should be able to, um... So, if you're in the corner... There. Um... And he's gonna do some shenanigans, you should be able to get out like that. Oh, well, it didn't actually hit him, but... Get close, I guess. Yeah, and that doesn't go far enough to, to do anything. I don't know, not sure how I feel about it. Definitely works better for Ken, it seems like. If you time it right, I guess you can get the back hit, otherwise you get out anyway, so... Well, let's see, if we give them full guard, will that still hit? No, it doesn't. But at least it puts them in the back. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You could you could take a step in maybe. Oh, whoops. I had another debug point. Let me let me turn the debugger off. I won't catch anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it kind of depends on timing, but you could step in and then do it, maybe, to help get a hit. No, no not that. Back and forth. Nah, even that doesn't... He, he doesn't spin long enough. Or Ken does two rotations, that's why he's able to get that in. But Ryu only does the one, so it's... I don't know. Not sure how I feel about it. Like, I kinda, like... The Shoryuken is the quintessential anti-air, but... I guess if you got Max Cancel, I mean, you can do more. Is that enough? It's kinda the same question as the overhead. Well, you can Max Cancel it and get something. That's good. Is that is that the way it should should be? That you can't do it without some sort of max cancel. And you do get two bars of max, so it's not like you never you never can get it. Can I can I get sword punch this out of it? Oop, wrong one. No. Should I be able to? That's another question. These are the kind of questions I ask myself all the time. Should I be able to do this? Should it if I do do that and how does it affect other things? I don't know. For the jump thing, I and mean, you've got this. You can get more if you got max cancel, but is that enough? Yeah, 
you gotta run at the end to get it sometimes. Depending on the angle that you come in with. Whether or not you do a super jump or not, and at the point that you jump with the point that he's coming down, that's gonna make or break whether or not you get the follow up. I did it too late. You gotta, you gotta run with it. Yeah, it's just a little, a little too far. You do that, <laughs> but if you, if you do run as soon as you hit the ground, it gives you a little bit of leverage. But it's really hard to do that on pad for me, so I'm not, I'm not getting that. Let me try stick. I hate using pad, but it's easier to program with the controller. Then you don't have to worry about the stick sitting on your lap. And you gotta put it away and grab the keyboard. And... So, I hope it's fun. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. I haven't used stick in a while. Holy crap. Oh, that's too much. Wow, I am not, I am not doing this justice. There we go, almost, almost, almost. Hmm, almost, almost. Almost. No, I didn't run. Didn't get the first hit. Not enough. Not enough. Mm. That I almost wouldn't need a run. Just mistimed it. Well, that works. Mmm. <laughs> it's doable, just not easiest. Ah, I didn't run right. Now I'm looking like a fool. I did change the Tatsu property, so it is a little harder now, but... Oh, I didn't, didn't run. Run didn't catch. Almost. Okay. Love you too. Are you... Did you leave the apartment? I didn't hear you walk out. I'm assuming that's why you're messaging on the chat. Ah, oh, man. Ah, it's rougher now. It's rougher now. I think it's easier when they're standing. Yeah, it's easier when they're standing. It's easier to time. I'm used to them just, well, standing, I guess. So that helps. Uh... There we go. There's the run. But them. <laughs> Depends on where you hit them, I guess. No, 
I wasn't gonna get it. If you don't get the first, the air jab, into it, it's not gonna... Chances are it's not gonna work. Oh, that was... Oh, he was on the ground. Don't count. Caught it with the EX, but I shouldn't have to. You can, um... You can get them with the with the light. You can link it into the EX if you get the right timing. Dark Stalkers for when? Yeah, I know, really. Maybe one day in the distant future. Yeah, EX Hadoken does juggle. Uh, especially the Dungeon one, but, um. I don't know if that works anymore. Well, uh. And you can do that, and of course, that'll get it to you. But, um. Because normally, if you just do it out of nowhere, you don't have enough time to recover. And the dungeons have a slightly different properties on them. That's, that was harder. Oh, Only the ground hit can. So you could do something like that. I got more mu muscle memory on pad now than I do on... than stick, which is disgraceful, but <laughs> that's how it goes. Don't use it long enough, and that's what happens. Oh, there we go. Yeah, too far. Come on. I'm trying to get this, and then from this, this one's hard. Then you can do that. I changed the timing on this, so all my muscle memory on this is gone. I can do, uh, I can do that, that's easier. That's a bigger window. You can just do that, but you don't get as much damage, of course. Nah, I don't think there's much you can get off of that. You can, what's really fun, No, he was too low. <laughs> this one's really fun. Nope. You gotta time it just right, but then you can get... That. And then you can hit him off the other wall and get it. It's tight. I'll try it again. Oh, I messed it up. Hand slipped. There we go. Almost got it. From a far wall, from a far hit, you can get the Shoryuken. But that's it. 
if you want anything more, you have to be a little closer. Something like that. too late. It's very specific, but you can do some pretty cool shit with it. I don't know if I can get the double on that anymore. No, probably not. It doesn't look like there's enough time. Nah, there's not enough time for it. But, um... Yeah, you can do that. That'll work. Uh, You can do that. So Damn it, come on. Just, yeah. yeah. The timing changed on that too, so my running's running's not quite right. So you can get that, that kind of stuff. Uh, you, sometimes you can get a show you out of that. But that's, that one's really hard. I usually fail that one. Damn it. Too early. Too early. Make sure it's the grounded hit, otherwise it don't cancel. There. I, d I doubt you have enough time to do the EX after. But you could do a heavy. Basically, if you want to go for stun, that's the combo that you want to do. Um, that's not also to mention the supers that you can end with. You do that. Should be able to get that. I think I just messed it up. Oh, Max, we can wear the show you. No good. Oh. Come on. Bounce him. Nope, too late. Should be able to, though. I think I just timed it wrong. Yeah. That'll get him. So, you can do something like that. A little over 50%. Not bad, but I mean, you do have to use all three bars on a max, but, you know, good the idea. Um, you can... I did mess it up, but you can... Get to the wall. Boom. Ah, I'm supposed to do Shoryu, and then... Supposed to do that basically. Last that I tried it, it didn't work. Uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> I did the other one. Hmm. Listen, that sure you hitting it too early. Oh, come on. I'm getting too risky. There we go, but I didn't didn't get the super off that. There we go, like that. There it is. Thank you. I, I I'm not trying to not trying to make it Marvel, but 
I, I feel that having a little bit of leeway, you know, like being able to approach this in different ways, like that's the optimal way to go, but you don't have to do that, and you can, if you're not good at timing that, you can just run up and do that. There's, there's a lot of ways to, to get about stuff. Health, you can... Quick enough. If you time it right, uh, and quick enough, I think you can get EX. Yeah, you can get that stud. Something like that. Not to mention all the, uh, shenanigans you can do with the, with the dungeon. A bit of marble is good. Yeah, a little bit. Just a, a little, a little dash of marble. <laughs> um, it's, although, uh, to be honest, it's not as crazy as KOF can get, but, um, you know, coming from the Street Fighter side, you know, it's, I think it's a breath of fresh air. Uh, you can do stuff like that. Uh, oh, I didn't have enough. Too far? Too far. There you go. You can get it up to about that length from the corner. So it's like, oh, goodbye. That would have hurt if it hit. There. Ooh. I think that's the most damaging combo he has. No, this is the first fighting game uh, that I've tried. First attempt and first, first go at it. But I knew that they were very complicated in terms of timing and all that stuff and and you know the nuance on how stuff moves and everything's got to sync up and be consistent it's not easy to program things in that way like you can just see here how many how many properties this is just one hit out of an attack how many properties are here canceling you know setting different moves that can be followed up on, juggling in air and ground, you know, the knockdown effect, what's a hard knockdown, launching properties for air and ground hits, you know, warp points, that's for, that actually keeps you in the blender here. It actually, it's really hard to see, um, because it's so fast, um, yeah. yeah. It's so hard to see here because it's so fast, but um, when they get hit, they actually get warped into the foot. So he gets hit here, you'll see the spark, and then he gets snapped into this position, and then back, and he gets snapped into this position, back, and he gets snapped again into the same position. And this keeps him actually stuck in the move, otherwise he might wiggle out. I don't think Street Fighter 4 does that. Because you can get some conditions where it gets a little wonky. But I couldn't find a better way to do it, to be completely honest. And that seems to work, and it looks cool, so... I'm going with it. So this has been, this has been a, a big learning experience, and that's primarily what it was designed to be. Oh, yeah, there's more settings here for changing animation on hit. And that's actually used for the Shinsho because if it doesn't hit, it just keeps going into the air like that. But if it does hit, it actually changes the animation to this one. So that's what that property is for. And then there's all different. Like you have to hold the button sometimes. So when Ken does his. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll do this. When he does that, if you hold the button, 
hard to do on keyboard. Come on. Alright, get in the SN. I cannot do this on keyboard. There it is. If you just let it go, it doesn't do anything. But if you hold it, it actually goes into the uh, thing. That's actually what this code here controls. Is you can say, I want to specify a button to change on, and then like you have to hold heavy punch, say. So there's a lot, a lot that goes into it to get all this stuff to work, and that's why I was intimidated to to do anything with it for the longest time. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time, but it's just oh wait. Hold on. Uh, yeah. 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 He was still set to human, so he wouldn't block him. So it's something that I've, I've long since wanted to do, just didn't didn't have the confidence to make it happen, and it, it's taken everything that I've got to to get this far. Yeah. I, I can't say that this is the way to do it. I'm sure companies have their own, uh, you know, takes on it. I'm sure SNK and Capcom have their own very, you know, uh, complicated and structured engines, and they probably don't work the same. They probably don't work the same as mine, even. This is what I just happened to, to end up with. And there's still stuff I have to add yet. Oh, there. Oh, I didn't get the run. I wanted to do the whole thing. Oh. There we go. Yeah, baby! Oh, I didn't get to show you. But it would have been cool. <laughs> and then I did that, and then I might have been able to get that. Yeah, I'm sure Mugen probably does it differently too. They're probably all different to a degree. Um, but the, the the basic concepts behind it are pretty must be the same, I think. You know, when a hit happens, you got all these properties. That's going to be standard. You know, uh, the nuance is going to be you know how how is hit stop applied? Nah, I didn't get the run. How is uh, like, when I do it, it's actually different than Capcom's, um, if I could slow it down here, maybe you can see it. Nope, too slow. There we go. So, at the moment of impact, here, you don't see Ken flinch yet. It's until the next frame. And I don't believe, the old alphas I think did that, but like, Street Fighter V doesn't do that. Or when there's a clash. Uh, let's see. What attack are you doing? Show you? Okay. When there's a clash, like that, Street Fighter doesn't let you see what happened. I give you one frame to figure it out, so when there's a counter hit, you know, you can kind of see what happens. So, like, say if you both hit each other and that ends the round and one of you has been KO'd, I leave the attacks out there so you can see what happens. You can see how they collided. You know, Street Fighter doesn't do that. You'll just see them both in a hurt animation, and then you kind of don't know what happened. And it's, I don't know. I think it's unsatisfying to not be able to see where the attacks crossed. Sorry, if I can get. It's hard to hard to get something to collide with to show you because of all the invulnerable frames. <laughs> I'm thinking if I if I could get it, it would look kind of cool. Oh, you know what? One might work. There. And then all the momentum from the ex <laughs> from the ex uh, Tatsu carries over. Looks kind of funky. I do actually have a, a plan to mitigate that kind of uh, wackiness. I want to make it so that when you get sent flying, I can specify uh, a certain amount of velocity degradation so it will slow down 
the farther that the, the launch goes. Yeah, exactly. I think it looks cool, like, it's kind of dramatic. Like, Guilty Gear does something similar. Where they, they have, like, a little spark and, like, everything, you get to see it for a second. I always like that, and I don't know why Capcom doesn't do that. I don't remember if Third Strike does. Like, Street Fighter 4 and 5, it, they're, well, they are what they are, but they're not, they're not the pinnacle. You know, like, the dudes that made Street Fighter 3 are the dudes that really know how to make this shit happen. That, like, Marvel 1 had great presentation, so I don't know how they treat it there. Um, I know armor moves in Marvel will show you, I think. I think they'll show you what happened. Um, or like Hulk's, what the hell is Hulk's Gamma Crush, I think? I'm not sure exactly what it is. The, the one where he does the, the elbow, like the flying elbow or punch, he goes flying in and creates a shockwave, and he can do it, you know, upward or forward or whatever. Um, in Marvel 3, he could do, like, a few of them in chain, I think. Um, if those collide in Marvel Infinite, they will they will actually show you the collision of that. There's a lot of hit stuff on, on that kind of collision, which I thought was kind of cool. When I did, when I was studying, uh, you know, hit stop and stuff, I found a video that showed what happens when the attacks collide like that. And that was, that was cool. But not all the moves, I think, do that. Ah, that was, that was time to run. What is this song? Oh! That's, um... Psycho Soldier, Fateful Battle, I think, with Athena and someone else. From KO 14. Yeah, I was gonna say, the gameplay in Infinite was the part that was good. I really like the, the 2v2, to be honest. Like, that's... That's what I... I really liked Marvel 1. I didn't, I didn't really like Marvel 2 with the lack of buttons and all that stuff. And I know that's blasphemous because everybody loves Marvel 2. But I, I didn't... I didn't like it. I, I'll be honest, I just didn't like it. That wasn't a true combo. There. So you can use it as punish. Something like that. Yeah, I missed it. Here's a secret, I never really played Marvel 2. Oh! They're gonna be out for you too! You better watch out! Marvel 2's the greatest, don't you know? You have to love Marvel 2. No, I, I, don't, I don't get that much shit for it. Uh, thankfully. Oh, I noticed we didn't... The X Tattoo's still on block. It's still, um... The wrong direction here. Uh, let's see, front, yeah, I put backwards, so this should be forward, and the back hit should be backward, which it was not, so, there. I don't know, and, and for the same reason, Marble 3 was, I like Marble 3 better, because I do like the three button control scheme. I like, I like having mediums, as much as I say that, even though this is only a four button, but that's more because... That's the SNK side of it. Um, but for like Marvel, I do like having the three buttons. I played a lot of Melty Blood, so I'm biased there. Um, I do I do think that having the light medium and heavy is, is 
is good. Even if you're not going to have the differentiation between kick and punch, which I think is a little silly in Marvel, to be honest. Like, it works for Marvel Infinite, of course, uh, having to punch and kick the way that they structure their combos, but, like, some characters use swords, and they, they don't, they shouldn't have to have kick buttons. Some characters use guns, is that just a punch button? What about the kick buttons? Like, I like having a light, a medium, and a heavy, and they're just, whatever the character is good at, whatever the character's weapon of choice or fighting style of choice is, just, just do it by strengths. And I think that makes more sense in crossover titles like that, where things get a little wacky. We're having, like, designated punch and kick. Then you get kind of weird stuff where, like, Balrog's kicks are just other punches. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a little, it's a little weird. I get, I get why they did it. I mean, in the early days, it was a little more structured like that. It's all martial arts stuff, you know. But, like, when you've got weapons and guns and all this other crap, it, it doesn't make sense to me to have that denomination. Unless you're just trying to play up the, on the legacy end of it. So if I made a, if I made an original fighting game, I probably wouldn't include a punch and kick button. I'd probably have a low, a medium, and a high. Or heavy, or whatever. Whatever, or whatever uh, nomenclature you want to use. And that, that's why I thought Marvel 3 was a good control scheme. And then they had the launch button, which was, yeah, alright, fine. I, I don't mind holding, you know, diagonal down forward and doing that for a launch. But it's not bad to have a, a dedicated button for it, since it's such an integral part of the game. I'm alright with that. Um, and I'm, I also like Blaze Boo's control scheme for the same reason, of course. But also the fact that they've got a do something unique button. <laughs> like, that's really cool. I like that. And then, um, I don't know, I, I like that kind of thing. Where Guilty Gear is kind of like it has to have a punch and a kick button and then two slash buttons. It's a little weird. Just, just, I like the way that Blaze Boo handled it. It's just light, medium, heavy. It doesn't matter if he's using his legs or his feet or a weapon or whatever. Where Guilty Gear pretty much, like, is designed to be a weapon 2D fighter. That's why there's slash and high slash as the button names. And sure, Jam doesn't fit that archetype necessarily. But then it's kind of weird. It's like, what do her slash buttons do? Other melee attacks? Like, but that's not what the button says. I don't know. I'm just getting too worked up about it, but... That's why I prefer to have them as just, um... Uh, light, medium, and heavy attack buttons. And drop the, the, the other thing. For this project, of course, I do have heavy punch, heavy kick. So, I don't know. That's hypocrite talking, maybe. <laughs> but um, it's just because it's it's KOF and the Street Fighter. If I were to change that control scheme, I think more people would be upset about it than, than understanding. So there is that. But if I did make, like, say, my, an original fighter, I'd probably just have a three buttons for light, medium, heavy, and uh, maybe a special super button, I don't know. I really like how Eunice did it, where they have a mobility button. Um, I had actually thought about that for a long time, and then I was really happy to see them implement that kind of thing. I was like, oh, hey, that's my idea. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see how that works. The fact that you can, you know, hold forward and hit it, and it, it makes you run. Or if you double tap it, then you do a roll. I mean, I got rolls at a different thing here, but I thought that was really cool. And if you held back and did it and press the button, you get a back dash. That was really nice. Like, Melty already kind of had that to a degree, because you could hit light and medium, and that would give you the run. Uh, and then down light and medium would give you the spot dodge. So that was cool. I guess this ended up being a discussion day. <laughs> At least I got to show the the gameplay changes, and we did fix we did fix a glitch. So there there's something. Oh wait, was that weird? I kind of looked away, but it yeah that's weird. Why is that weird? What happened? Why is why is that doing that? That's not good. Front should be forward. 
Uh oh, we've got we've got a variation on the glitch now. That's great. And back. Maybe that has to also be forward. Nope. Oh no. Well, now I did it. Now I broke it. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, put you on all guard. Okay. And then forward fixes the on block. But it breaks. It breaks that. Why does it break that? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, you know what? I, ha I may have compensated it by giving it a negative launch value. I didn't think about that, but I used to do that instead of having the forward and backwards. But that forward and backwards value has other functionality that I need to add, so. Huh. No, distance is 16. Oh, you know why? It has to be backwards. On launch. Okay. Alright, alright. To fix this, I'm actually going to give it the negative here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, that's good there. But on block, it pushes away. Okay. Yeah, there's the fix. There's the fix. Yeah. Or, you know what? Let's do it that way. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. Yeah, okay. And then, so if I get up, then, okay, it'll work. It's working now. Okay, so the reverse also needs to be true. Um, we'll do backwards here, so it will block backwards. But the launch is reversed. Okay. And it didn't it didn't break it, so that's good. Uh let's see. I need to need to make it busy. Uh, let's do this. Just take the throw! Just take it! Okay. So yeah. I think that works. That should be alright. Oh, you know, another way I could do it, just to make sure, let's get him in the corner again. Once he's dizzy, I could jump, because the Aratatsu's got the same hitboxes. So jump here, and then, whoop, ah crap, now you got out of it. I had to be lower, and as long as it hits behind him, we should be able to see if it mucks up. If the back hit hits first. Oh, it was too... <laughs> you know what? Actually, hold on. I have a training tool for this. You can't access it in the game through the menu, but I do have... Uh, where's Dizzy? Stun mode. Stun next move. There we go. Wow! Since I changed the hitboxes, it is a lot harder. There we go! Okay. So it doesn't screw up. I'm behind. <laughs> Take the throw, just not too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna keep. It's gonna keep knocking them out. Um. Uh, no stuff. Normal. Normal. Yeah, so I think it's, I think it's good now. So it. It was a combination. It only glitched for that move because I didn't have the didn't have the values right for the launch. Yeah, that's a tricky one because you want it to push away when it doesn't connect, but you want it to push behind backwards when it does connect. That's what's one of those weird ones. Ah, why am I using keyboard? I used to play Melty a little bit on keyboard, so. I can do a little bit of that, but not too much. I feel like Melty was, because it was made for PC, like they took extra precautions to uh, to make sure it works good on keyboard. 
and not a lot of other games seem to have done that. But on PC at least. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know. Not 100% on. Yes, you could do. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Yeah, well, there is that. Mm, I don't know if I should allow that or not. I don't know. I guess. Well, I mean, you could also argue that, you know, you have anti air super. I allow that, so why wouldn't I. Why wouldn't I allow this? Yeah, you gotta get that one in the middle there, it's not gonna get timed right. I don't know. It's not reliable enough to do that with. Like, they gotta be really low? I don't know. It just doesn't seem that useful. Like, it's cool, but is it useful? as opposed to timing that. I don't know. Yeah, I missed it. Hard to say. Uh, now this you can hit. The reason I got away with that was, uh... This actually is... Sets Juggle Flag. So that you can do that. Because he doesn't have his medium punch in the air, which would allow you to normally do that... That little combo. So I just gave it to his jab, which seemed to have no other purpose otherwise. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's cool, and it's like, you think, oh yeah, yeah, you definitely want something like that, but like, I don't know, how useful is it really? Get about the same amount of damage if you just time a heavy Shiryu. And you send them flying. I mean, if you want more, you can max cancel it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I expected them to go over my head, but that's fine too. with it. It's pretty fun. Um, you can use Parsec on a offline build to kind of sort of play uh, online. It's a little laggy, but until we get the built-in stuff working, it's all we got. But well, yeah, when we get the built-in net play, it should be a lot better. That one's going to be hard. I've never done any network kind of stuff before, so that one's going to be really difficult to get down. No, that's not going to work. The dungeons do a lot, a lot of stun. Um, Hold on, he's on random guard. Uh, auto. A full charged engine? Um, does that much stun. Almost half. I want Ryu to be scary. I want, I want him to put the fear of death in you screwing up.
Um, so there's three levels of dungeon charging. You just got the normal one, which replaces your Hadoken and Power Max. But you can hold the button and charge it. And you get speed variation too. So you can really screw with them. Um, but if you hold it all the way, you get the, the level 3 dungeon charge. And that does a lot of stuff. As you can see. And boom. There you go. They all do more stun than than the normal Hadoukens. Ryu's also got the Kaku Fubatsu that he can unleash once he charges it. I wanted to make him more of a uh, you done goofed, and here's the punish. So he can't do too much combo-wise without having meter. But the idea is that you're sitting back tossing some Hadoukens, and you're going to build that meter. And so when Ken gets too antsy, well, you, you done goofed, son, and it's time to, time to pay the price. Boom, and then gotcha with the dungeon. You're done. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, same thing with Shinsho. Very short range, but if it hits, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hit like a truck. Um, you can't... Can't necessarily combo with it. You're not much you're gonna get off of that, but it's more of a you done goofed. Whoops! Get out of here! You know, sorry, it's gonna hurt. Or you get too antsy and you jump in, and that's, you know, well, say he's actually jumping. That's your anti air super. It's a level 3 only, though, so it's, you know, you gotta charge up for it. And then there's a lot of combos focused on stun. So look how much stun that did. Because the dungeon was in the middle there. And then, whoop! That's it. You're done, boy. You know? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> the Kaiko Fubutsu used to actually be um, done with a double down forward kick. So if I do that, when I meant to parry, that's why. <laughs> I'm used to the old command. But now it's just down back punch. Since you load it first. The Ryu is all about zoning and punish. You're coming in, you're coming in. You know, you're doing stuff. Oh, gotcha. You know. Then get back. Mix up the timing. That kind of stuff. And if they just want to sit there and block, when you've got this going on, good luck with that. Get out. Now, because you have dodging, like KOF, you're thinking, oh, well, Getting stuck in position is not too good because you're just gonna see it coming, right? You can fake him out with the dungeon only. Uh, it's a little hard. If they show you, it's a little hard because it's so quick, but. See? You can get away. Boom. Punished. Probably, probably get a donkey kick out of there. Hold on, I messed it up. Oh. Try it again. Oh. That's our nice. Damn it. <laughs> I have trouble on that side. Yeah, so you can get that, or... Yeah, you get Donkey Kick. 
You probably get EX. Hello. Hello. Oh, I already ate. I'm all buzzed Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Said she feels sorry for you living here away from your family and being tricked by someone like you. Really? Basically, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I tricked Mark into moving to Kentucky, everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. It's step one of my master plan. I mean, yeah. I don't know so what definitely. the end game is, but I'll figure it out. Aww. Love you. Love you too. Pizza and Mountain Dew awaits. Oh boy. Oh. We are part of the internet. Great. Kentucky pizza. That's super good. Go, go to hell it is. No, oh, it's <laughs> terrible. No, fuck you. It's that gas station pizza we like. Oh no. Gas station pizza. Oh, fuck off. It's good. No. <laughs> Look, Kentucky doesn't have good pizza for all of you that don't know. I'm from New York. There's a different standard of fucking people. pizza. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a different standard of pizza in New York. It's, it's a little different. So coming here has been domestic dispute in the street. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh it's been um it's been a, a an experience food wise coming here. Put it that way. I've heard. <laughs> yeah, see there you go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna close out on some Terry stuff. Just because I haven't shown much of Terry in a while or today. Uh, that's not what I want. Ah! Alright. Now oh, that didn't, didn't finish. You can do something like that. Terry's a little wonky too, like his hitboxes also have to be adjusted. Since I overhauled the system. Ryu's the only one that's been properly adjusted so far. We gotta do a Power Wave Sprite. That was a few weeks ago. EX uh, Burn Knuckles, a side switcher. Um, you do have Power Dunk, and you can, of course, link it off of that. Power Dunk is a um, it is a hard knockdown, so it's actually super good if you want to get into that. You can. I gave you the option to do this, or that. So you get more damage doing Crack Shoot H, but you get Hard Knockdown doing that, so pick your poison. You're Caribbean. Little Caesars here is pretty much the best I've had fresh. Uh, <laughs> Little Caesars is kind of like shit tier for New York, but um, the cheesy bread's not terrible. I think the problem is, is a, a lot of the, they don't get the sauce right. And so, like, definitely, like, the Pizza Huts and the fast food shit's not gonna have good sauce. But since Cheesy Bread doesn't have sauce, it's just dough and cheese. I, I guess that's okay. Ah, uh, that don't work anymore, right? Uh. Are, there, are there any other things that I love that you care to shit on while we're here? <laughs> I've got plenty. Take a big diarrhea shit all over it. Diarrhea buffalo fuck part. Yeah. Splort sound effects. Yeah, we're pretty much done at this point. <coughs> Harry's fun, but he, like I said, he's some of his moves are broken now because of all the system changes. He's got to get updated. And. I definitely want to do all that before I do another public demo, because otherwise it won't play right. Yeah, I can't do that. I can do that. 
Perry was a learning experience for sure to design. That's the thing, I think you make it different here. The sauce is great. Pizza Hut, etc. is horrible. Yeah, Pizza Hut's an abomination. It's grease, the pizza. The only, um... Man, Terry was so weird. I, I didn't think he was as weird as he was when I started to research. Like, you can't do that. You can't do a heavy burn knuckle off of anything. You have to go from a heavy punch to a light burn knuckle. And, yeah, okay, I know, it goes pretty far, but, like, it's kind of strange. Uh, so that was, that was weird. Most of the Capcom mentality is, you know... Most everything will, will cancel, but like, hey, left's got some weird stuff like this. Like the, um, you had to use a heavy punch to link in, um, to link in power wave. I changed that. I didn't like that. I thought that was too much. So I let you get a light power wave off of lights. But in, it looked like most K lefts didn't let you do that. You had to do a heavy to get the light power wave or any power wave. Very strange. So I did make some changes. You, you could argue that I Capcomized him a little bit. To get the kind of stuff that, you know, he's got going on, but... Like, that's got armor, just like 14. I like that, the fact that the EX had the armor. And you can get the stuff off of it, all the cancels. Uh, I allowed you to get a burn knuckle heavy off of this move. I didn't get it. Man. Oh, that's tough. It's always been tough, but I thought I got it. Uh, let's see. Man. Yeah, it's really weird. I didn't, I didn't think so either. But even CVS2 was like that. I'm thinking, oh, maybe Capcom changed it, and that's why I didn't think that. Nope, it's still wonky. Like uh, you have to go from a higher, like a medium to a light, or a heavy to a medium in CVS2 in order to get that burn knuckle to work. It's very weird. I just didn't really think about it before. I just never realized it or didn't remember or what. Uh, let's see, what else has he got? Got crack shoot, of course. You can do that. I did let this be a target combo. So I'm not using the KOF thing where all the all the normals can go into a unique. I'm not doing it that way. I let that link, and I let that be a target combo. Specifically the. Hold on. Oh, not, not, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Negative edge is is killing me here. Um. Damn it. Come on. There. That's it. Yeah, you know what? Stop, stop doing it. Like so I let, I'll let you do that, but you pretty much have to cancel it into something or it's going to leave you open. Uh, you can just do it on its own. You know, it's a decent anti-air. Um, but, yeah, on hit, I let you do that. Um, and that's for, for two reasons. One, um, I like the fact that you could do that in KOF. You could, you could, like, cancel that into that. Here you have to link it, like I said, but, uh, that's an actual cancel. So I like the fact that they let you do that. Although in KOF you cannot cancel, I think, s s the far standing HP into it. I don't think it actually does that. Because it doesn't cancel into anything. Uh, but here, you don't have the close or far attacks, so I just let everything kind of rock. 
Um, so I did think that that was cool that you could do that, so I wanted to have that kind of functionality. So I did put it in as a target combo. And then at the same time, um, I think this one still works. Maybe not. I might have removed it. Yeah, I think I removed that one. So, the other thing is there, I put it in there for is to simulate when Terry's got a close hit, he hits twice, and that's a lot of people's hit confirms, and I felt bad taking that tool away. So this is kind of like a stand-in for that. So his close HP used to be a two-hit attack that you could cancel out of. So, I thought that was... A decent stand-in for that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I heard something. That's all right. So it does give you a little bit of time to kind of figure out, you know, did I hit? See, like that, something like that. It does good damage too. So, I like it. If I can get it. Oh yeah, this is the other thing. This is normally his CD. There's no CDs in the game. Because if you do CD, uh, that's the max mode. Um, but the CD attacks are the knockback attacks. Um, this was his air one, and I felt bad not including it. Because his air normals, I'll be honest, are all pretty much just forward stuff. This is the only one that hits downward. And I'm like, wow, that sucks. And I see a lot of people actually use it. Uh, like, they'll knock someone down, they'll get up and do this. And, of course, the CD would knock them back, but it was a good anti-air option. Or not anti-air, but it was a good incoming air attack option because of how deep it hit. And I saw a lot of 98 players using it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to bring it back as his neutral heavy kick. His air neutral heavy kick. And so, you can get stuff off of it, unlike KOF, but, you know, that's cool too. I don't mind making changes like that. I think people appreciate having that kind of thing. So that's definitely the best, lowest hitting attack. So a lot of thought went to Terry, more than I kind of expected. I, I thought Terry was going to be a bit more straightforward, but he kind of isn't. I was a little surprised by that. He's very unusually designed. He has no standing overhead. He has no air specials. He's got more specials than any other character. He's got this. 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 But he has no air specials. Isn't that weird? It's whack! Why does he have air specials? I think he was purposely designed to not be a good character in the air. Like, look up all his all his normals in air go forward. Like, yeah, this is your jumping attack and your cross-up. Cool. Like, that's kind of neat, I guess. But it doesn't hit, like, super deep. So I added this one to kind of compensate for that, but that's what, I think that's why people were using it so much in 98, because he just didn't have any good air moves. I don't know. I think I think Terry's supposed to not supposed to be weak with with air stuff. I think that was how SNK intended him to be. Like here, the rising tackle is a charge move. He doesn't have any good, like really good DPS that you can do on a whim. Like you've got this. That's cool, I guess. But it's not. It's no sure you can. So his air defense and air offense, I think, is intentionally his weakness. And But he's really good on the ground. He's got a million specials. He's the utility guy, I guess. Oh, and then we give him Power Stream for his, uh, his super there. Yeah, that's what I figured. He's more of a grounded guy. And he actually ended up being good at, like, mid-range. Because he's got these long-ass normals. He's got, like, you know, this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff's really good. Like, I expected him to be more close-up and personal, but when we playtested it, that is not the case. That's not what seemed to be most effective. It was kind of like sitting around here and, and harassing and getting in a few light crack shoots and 
that kind of thing, and you know, this is the kind of range he was good at. Like staying here and on the ground, and then he. It's weird, he has no, he, you know, and the other thing, I think a lot of KO characters don't have standing overheads because they used to have the hop. You could just hop and then air normal, and then like everything was kind of an overhead in, in a way that way, um, but there's no hop in this game, so I have to find ways to compensate for that. But like, Keo has standing overheads, and Iori does too, so even though... Like, they have a system where they don't necessarily need it in normally in KOF. They do have it, and Terry just doesn't have it. It's weird. Even Power Dunk doesn't hit overhead, which I considered possibly making it do that, but I'm not sure. Not sure how I feel about it. It wouldn't be all that effective, I think, so it's probably not gaining much by having it, even if I do do it, but I don't know. It's kind of the, the questions... There's a lot of tweaking to do with Terry, but it kind of didn't matter until I went back and made all the system changes I needed to. And Ryu was the, the test subject for that. But now that I'm pretty sure that Ryu's gonna work, um, I can start doing Ken, because he's, he's got a lot of frame data that's about the same. He's got a lot of hitboxes that are the same. And then when I get that done, then I can fix up Terry. And then when everything's all fixed up, then we can have another public demo. Won't that be fun? Terry's fun to, to monkey around with just because he's got all this crazy bullshit. Like, he's got... Oh, I forgot to show the EX power dunk is I made into a high angle geyser. Like a mini high angle geyser. Uh, you can get it off of that. Uh, it's a little broken. System changes have made it not work completely. So at some angles it doesn't work right now. But but all that's going to get tweaked and fixed. And that's because like the basic hitboxes have changed. And some other hit properties have changed. So that's what I mean. Like they're they're a little broken at the moment. Oh yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to do this combo. Oh, there we go. Got it. That one's fun. That one's fun. You gotta be really close for it, though. I don't know if it's practical or not. Man, that's hard to get. To get that cancel in time is is tough. Cause that's the light. There we go. That's the light one. There we go. That's tough. That's tough to get. I I've actually gotten some complaints from that, from the patrons. <laughs> that I do early builds of all our projects uh, for the patrons of the stream. I got I got some complaints on that one. That's too hard to do! <laughs> well, sorry. It kind of doesn't work any other way. I don't want to make the move slower. I don't know. I don't know if it is if it's in Fighting the X Lair. I haven't gotten the Terry DLC. I've seen some of the stuff that they've done, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it has it. I'm pretty sure KOF has it. At least 14 does. 14 lets you do that. I'm pretty sure. A lot of the older KOFs did not let you do it though. Even if Buster Wolf was in the game. This was not, uh, super cancelable. So Burn Knuckle was, was never super cancelable. I don't know if 13, I didn't play a lot of 13. But I'm pretty sure the older ones, like 2002, I don't think lets you do that. But, uh, 14 definitely does. I remember doing some stuff with that. So I identified what I think are Terry's weaknesses. Oh yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I saw Max do that one really stupid hard one. I just don't remember if that included that or not. Um, 
Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so the, the weaknesses I identified for Terry were shitty air normals, because they all go in one direction. Um, he doesn't have good coverage. Like this, and this, or wait, no. This, and this normal are the same thing, they're just different ranges. <laughs> well, it's like, what the heck? Um, I tried to make the hitbox on, on this, like, go higher. Like, he's chopping down from, like, a top-down angle, kind of like Geef's chop. So I, I gave him one, it's hard to see. Um, hold on. I think I caught it. Did I catch it? I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I, I went past it, but there's a one frame box that's above it to kind of like simulate the movement of him chopping down from the top. Yeah, there. So I put that one frame box there to kind of give it a little more utility, so maybe if something's above you, you'll hit it. But, like, man, come on! Like, look at all this shit! It's all going the same direction! <laughs> like, that's kind of... Nah, that's kind of whack. I don't like that. So, um... That's, I think, weakness number one. His air normals suck. Weakness number two, there are no air specials. He doesn't have an air tot, so he doesn't have anything like that. He's very weak in the air. Weakness number three, his anti-air options are limited. Uh, that's not a good anti-air. Like, that's his knee. Like, if someone's in front of you, maybe? But even then, man. So this is, like, his best instant anti-air, and yeah, he's got rising tackle, but that's the charge move. So... I know in 98 it's a DP, but I think it falls more in line with the... His air defense is supposed to suck. He's grounded. So that's his other weakness, and he doesn't have the overheads, but he does have, you know, harassing moves like this. And the other weakness is, he doesn't have a lot of super variety. Oh yeah, he's got, you know, he's got Power Geyser, cool, and he's got Buster Wolf. What else does he have? He doesn't typically have more than two, usually three in the later games, supers, but one's usually like a level three only. So, I gave him that, and I gave him that. So I, what I like to do with power max mode is to, to manipulate something about the character, to power some part of him up. And because he has a lack of supers, I gave him a super he can only do in power max. And that's power stream, that first appeared in KOF uh, 2003. He's had it in a few games, but not every game's got it. So that was not in the pocket games originally. We had to animate that. But I think I think it works. It makes Terry, I don't know, feel a little more whole. You alright? Alright. I just think it's it's a neat thing to give him. It, it's got more advantages than most supers, like with its giant ass hitbox. And yeah, you, you can see it here. Like, that's a big hitbox, and he's completely invulnerable during it. You can confirm into it with a max cancel. Um, if you're really good, you can confirm into it like that. It also is OTG. You can pull him off the ground with it. So it's kind of like Urian's super from Street Fighter V. So, trip him. I mean, it does a lot less damage. Uh, the damage is, is wonky anyway, because I've been making system changes that affect that. But um, So the damage is a lot less Obviously, and um, wouldn't you OTG it, but still, if you want to close the match out with it, you're already in power max, and it's like, whoop, sorry kid, <laughs> see you next time, and that's it. And, you know, there's things like that you can do. So I've been thinking about that kind of stuff. 
kind of kind of give him some different things he can do. Um, considering that he has all these weird omissions, all these weird little weaknesses, I want to give him something really nice, you know. And yet, yeah, it's only level three, so it's not like you can pull it out all the time. You have to have you have to be in max mode, and you have to have a level three. But I don't think that, no, that's not gonna reach. Close enough? Nope. You could probably run up and do it really quick if you had the execution for it. But I don't know, that's that's the thought process for Terry. Like I said, he, he ended up being way more nuanced and complicated than I expected him to be. Which is part of the reason it's taken so long to develop him. But that is what it is. So anyway, it's 9.30. I've gone a little past. Um, yeah, it's a good super, but again, you can only use it in certain situations. You have to have max mode, and you have to have a level 3 on deck, so. I, I think that should be nuance, or uh, I think it should be limiting enough that you're just not going to see it all the time. It's going to be used to close out a match, and, you know, like, hey, he's only got, like, a fifth damage left. Let's get him. You know? Let's get him, bro. You, also, you have to already be in max to get this to work. They'll stand up if they're, um... They also have to be in the corner. So if you do it there... Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe they... Oh, no, you know why? I don't have a quick rise on. Hold on. Uh... No, it is on quick. Hmm. Alright, hold on. Let me try something. Could be system changes that cause us to... Yeah, that's not supposed to hit, I think. Um, don't think, yeah, you can't get this one under any circumstance. Yeah, they already stand up. This one, um, you can't do it outside of the corner. It's too, too slow. Or, they go too far, and that's by design. They go too far, but if you're in the corner and already in it, then you can get it. Um, I don't believe I designed it to be able to... This, I think, is unintended. I don't think this is supposed to happen. So I'm gonna have to review that. But, you know, if you got him on the ropes, you got the fear of God in him. You know. And you've got the bars for it. You're like, screw it. You're done. You, you're done, goof. You're done. And then, you know, you can close out the round with that if they're well enough. That's the kind of intended use for that kind of thing. What? Yeah, what? What? But, yeah. Alright, that's it. Um, I'll close it out now. So, uh, we are a patron-sponsored stream so if you super 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 love us and like what we do um you can get some neat little tier rewards we got some code samples uh we got early builds for the projects that we're doing we get weekly or monthly builds that kind of stuff so we've got um pull up my list here we got super top tier patrons and we do read out the names of those top tier patrons on the stream um so let's see Click, click, click. Got uh, Zombie Killer. It's a tip, super top stream, or super top patron. Uh, he's the scrub general, I guess, in the scrub army. We got Jerry Berry, Javier Garcia, AJ, Bryce Nagalino. Those are our top patrons. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, the link is down below. And we will be back. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, Thursday, the 6th, so June 6th, it's already June. June 6th, we're gonna have the retro game, the Mansion retro game up, and that'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, cool, check it out. Let's see, uh, we got 
the current builds for Pocket Fighter on there too. So check that out and even look at that. Um, yeah, so I'll be back Thursday. That'll be it for the the retro game. And so, uh, <laughs> what what character is that? What character is that? And they put a sombrero on her. <laughs> See next stream. Yeah. So Thursday's a Thursday's our retro game project. And then so Monday again. The next Monday will be Pocket Fighter EX again, and that's the tenth Monday in the tenth. So the full seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so that's it. I have I have to go to bed. I'm tired. Well, soon. Yeah, it's 9:40. So um, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next time. Scrub out and have a good one.